Welcome to the Expect Success Podcast, a presentation of georgebollock.com with your host, George Bollock. This podcast is for all things personal development. Don't expect success, prepare for it. Please welcome your host, George Bollock. Welcome to Expect Success at georgebollock.com. Now, in addition to listening to our podcast, you can also view the video format on YouTube at georgetube.com. Sarah Robbins is the number one distributor and top earner in her direct selling company. Her team currently does over $2 billion in sales per year. She is, or should I say, was a school teacher by trade. And in today's episode, Sarah teaches us how to manage our expectations in network marketing. Listen to Sarah. Welcome to the blog today. This month we are talking about managing our emotions and expectations in our business. Why, you might say? Well, what we do as network marketers really as a system is so simple. Share information, invite people to hear more, and plug them in to where they see best fit as a customer, as a consultant or a distributor, or as a connector. They provide you referrals. Really, it's as simple as that. So why do people struggle? Why do they not go the distance? Because Success is in between the ears. We've got to manage our emotions and our expectations. Today I want to talk to you a little bit about, you know, what do we do when we get to that place that we just say, that's it, I want to quit. I have been there before. In fact, I'll be the first to admit, I started my business in my young 20s, okay? And I was a former kindergarten teacher just beginning my career. I had never had business experience before, so let me just say that before you laugh at me a little bit. But I remember literally calling the president of my company saying, oh, I'm gonna quit today. And she lovingly jokes today, Sarah, I think you quit more than anyone else in the company. And it's true. But I would quit for a day and then I would begin again. Today I'm the top earner in our company and we've had success beyond our wildest dreams. But, you know, the truth be told, I faced those feelings of defeat many a times and had to choose to pick myself up again, brush myself off, and really get going again. You know, I really want you today to focus on managing your expectations in your business. Yes, occasionally you hear those really quick success stories. So-and-so hit the top tiered ranks in a month, and the truth is you don't know what they did to get there. You don't know what level of experience they had, what their contact base was, how much they sacrificed, right, to do it. Maybe not as much as you're willing to or that you even want to. You know, I want you to really focus. Those stories are few and far between. I always say those results are not typical. I want you to look for, purposely look for the stories of people in your company who maybe hit those top ranks years in and have, you know, really great perspective on what they did to get there and, you know, how they grew professionally and personally in the process. It's interesting for me, you hear my success story and a lot of times, man, it's, you know, unrelatable, right? I was a six-figure monthly earner by the age of 29 years old. But people fail to remember that that was five years into the business. I started part-time. But eventually after that first year, I started working full-time and I was getting on airplanes helping to build teams all across the company. So I tell people, what if it's five years in? What if it's 50 years in? You know, my success in network marketing has taken me eight years. I just celebrated my eighth anniversary with my company, eight years and counting. Uh, You know, look at it from just, you know, a different perspective. For myself, I lost 75 pounds. And you can see the story of, at the time, it was my 65-pound weight loss story on my blog at sarahrobbins.com. And I talk about, you know, people will see me today that I hadn't seen, you know, since high school, my uh, 15-year reunion, right? And they'll be like, oh my gosh, you look amazing. What's your secret? And I'm like, truth be told, there is no secret. Every single day for the past 10 years, it took me 10 years to lose the weight because I would hit a certain weight plateau, hit a certain weight plateau, and just modify and change things up. I've been tracking my calories, my exercise, my water intake, and I've been doing little bits consistently every single day, but giving it the time that it takes. The same is true with my network marketing business. I've been reaching out to a few people every single day and following up. You know, three, two, one, reach out to three new people, follow up with two, reach out to one person on your team, a couple of contacts each day, but I gave it the time long-term that it takes, eight years, 
and counting. You know, while some people would say, and I finally won, I would say, I'm winning every day. I'm never going to be done eating right, drinking water, and exercise. And for my business, I'm never going to be done recruiting. If I want my team to grow and to thrive, I have to lead by example as well. Guys, today I really want you to manage your expectations. You know, if you can say to yourself, I've worked hard today at my business, that's great. Now go and do it again tomorrow and give it the time that it takes. Guys, it isn't easy, but it's definitely worth it. That's awesome. Now for more from Sarah Robbins, simply search YouTube and visit her website, sarahrobbins.com. Sarah's best-selling book, Rock Your Network Marketing Business, is available at her website and or Amazon.com. And remember, as the late, great Jim Rohn used to say, you are the average of the five people you spend the most time with. Today, you've been hanging out with Sarah Robbins. Keep up the momentum. Subscribe to our newsletter so you never miss another episode. We'll catch you on the next show. And thanks again so much for listening. See ya. Thanks so much for listening to this episode of the Expect Success Podcast with your host, George Baller. If you enjoyed today's podcast, please rate, subscribe, and review. And find more great content online at georgebollock.com and on Facebook and Twitter at George Bollock. We'll catch you next time. And remember, don't just expect success, prepare for it. <laughs>